Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode we finished our first playthrough as Arthur, and now I want to try playing the Lightbear DLC where I assume we're going to play as Nick Lightbear, that character that we met, and then they died very shortly after we met them <laughs> when we played as Arthur. I have no idea what this is going to be like. What, you know, like what time is this taking place? I imagine a long time before they met Arthur, because they died at the end of meeting Arthur. I, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, but let's jump into it. Should I go with normal difficulty again? Normal difficulty ended up being extremely easy. At least, you know, it was reasonably challenging in the beginning, but towards the mid-game, and especially the late game, it was just trivial. What do they have? Just easy, medium, hard. So what's different? Strangers are suspicious of you and you'll, be, you'll need to know the rules to blend in. You love a good fight in a harsh world where people don't much like you and your survival is an open question. Hmm. Can I change this after the fact? I don't know. Let's go with hard. Let's see what happens. We had fun last night, pet. <laughs> Top of the fucking morning to you two. Virgil? Huh? Um, am I hallucinating that you're a rat? Or is there a real rat that I'm hallucinating as my agent? Ex-agent. Or did you forget sacking me? Sir! Oh, shit. Your room is leaking! You're not forgetting anything else, are you? Oh, I just need some reds and yellows. That'll get my head clear. You picked a rotten night to black out. Sir! I'm afraid I must insist on a damage fee! I'd leg it if I were you, Lamb Chop. I need you all in one piece today. Shh, 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 I just need to think. Is, is, is this blood? You don't even remember whose blood that is. Fuck's sake, Nicky! Oh, I can't remember last night. My head's all, all foggy. See why I tell you to write things down, eh? Oh, I know. If you can't remember, you're not responsible. When did I write these? Please have written words that make sense. If you will not open up, I shall be obliged to summon the constabulary. Better dash. Oh, bugger. Oh, buggery, buggery Jesus on a buggery bike. I need you to set things right. Virgil. Virgil! Oh, I need to get out of here, but not without my, my pills and gear. That was quite a beginning. A teenth nervous breakdown. <laughs> Find your guitar amp. Okay. Is this our place where we met Nick when we were playing as Arthur? Is this that same place? I'm not sure. Partied a lot. Huh, I don't think I can loot general stuff, like normally be able to loot fridges and stuff. I think they're trying to pare it down to just get what you need and don't worry about like looting every little thing. Fair enough. Uh guitar amp. I mean those are those are guitar amps. I guess they're not the right one. Oh, that's what says useless. I thought I thought the left side of the screen like subtitle thing was saying that this thing is useless. What the hell is that? Vomit? Portable guitar amp. Oh, it's portable. Water damaged. Oh, it's a bit soggy. 
Manager stole my good one. Hmm. Maybe if I vibe my guitar, I'll remember where I put my goodies. Your guitar knows things. Tap right click to use it to vibe the environment for clues. Okay. I'm feeling this so far. I got a portable lamp and I'm going to be playing guitar. That sounds awesome. Down the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my suite has an escape hatch somewhere to sneak out without fans seeing. I think. Pointing me to the escape hatch. Oh, here. Ah, beer tap switch. That's probably it, right? Oh, balls! A groupie. Everything bad for you is good for Nick. Coffee, drugs, and liquor will replenish your health bar. Okay, that's different. Mm, let's check the notes. Alarming lyrics. It's all or nothing. Now I know what to do. Foggy head. Now he's dead. Quartered to two. Grass on my shoes. Alright. Curious fan mail. My dear Nick Lightbear, you were smashing last night. <laughs> it was quite a show. I hope your head's not in too much of a fog this morning. But don't worry, I won't hold it against you. I remain your biggest fan. is it uh friday uh tuesday i mean oh come on they all end in day i've been stuck up here for ages beastly hotel manager wouldn't let me go up to your room the regular way can you give me a tug <laughs> look um i don't mean to be unhelpful um My but <laughs> god you're covered in blood am i oh um uh well <laughs> i must be the li lipstick yes i mean the fans do get Carried away with their kisses, don't they? Um, uh, sorry, I really do have to dash. But you'll, you'll send help to get me out of here, won't you? Oh, uh, absolutely, love. Yes, of course, love. Um, anything for a fan. So we're in a hotel. I can't let the manager find me covered in blood when I don't even know whose it is. Attention, guests. Uh oh. The hotel is a bit overrun with Nick fans at the moment. Please stay in your room while constables take control of the situation. Try any more stage diving unless I really want to get hurt, and I don't. I hate being hurt. <sighs> Attention, guests. The Nick Lightbearer huh. I just realized my health bar on the top left of the screen is it's a different health bar than when I played as Arthur. Arthur was like a heart circle thing that got more filled up or less filled up depending on how much damage you have. This one's a bar. Do you think it would attract the attention of guards and stuff if I played my guitar? <laughs> or a free coffee, hell yeah. Stay away before we invented coffee. Shut up, liver. Face melt? Tap left click to blow mines with a monster face melt riff. Hell yeah! Each strike will reduce your guitar battery. You can block attacks by hitting right click to vibe. Successful vibe blocks will recharge your guitar and leave your fans awestruck and more vulnerable to regular attacks. 
Whoa, so... I think this means that we just don't use melee weapons. I think this is our only weapon, isn't it? Well, this is interesting. Okay. So that's a block. You got one! Bad <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Those noises. Ha. <laughs> They don't seem inclined to in attack anymore. Guests, hotel vents are being closed due to a slight bit of moisture. Perhaps go outside for some fresh air. So they're not deceased, of course, but they're not even unconscious. They're just mind blown, <laughs> which is the same as unconscious functionally. Hotel, sweet door, key, staff key needed. I like that they really experimented with just how you play as a character for this DLC. That's really nice. It's a good change of pace. This is really different so far. Bugger. I'll need to find a power cell. Nick Fan Convention Events. Friday, enter the Guess Nick's Favorite Color Contest. Previous year's winners who guessed purple are disqualified from participating again. Hmm. Saturday, last chance to buy a ticket for the Win to Date with Nick contest. Sunday, the Nick Light Bear Lookalike Contest will now take place in the hotel bar. False mustaches and Nick wigs are available in the gift shop. Note, it is strictly forbidden to seduce or propose marriage while, while dressed as a Nick lookalike. Ladies, if you feel you have inadvertently married a Nick lookalike, please consult the management. A bellboy key. Now I can sneak into other rooms. Naughty Mickey. Ah, oh, this bird has a power cell. <laughs> I wonder what she uses it for. I'd better get those vents open again if I want to travel around incognito. There has to be a perfectly innocent reason why a man might wake up covered in blood and not remember. Does Lamb Chop have a guilty conscience? Wages of sin got you down. <laughs> Virgil. <laughs> Virtual the X management rat. Pa pause the game at any time to see guitar controls. Yeah, I mean, pretty simple. Regular face melt. And vibe. Scan the environment for clues and block attacks. Oh, and I can press Q to equip and unequip the, the weapon, basically, the guitar. Whoops. Wait, can I? I'm pressing Q right now and it's not doing anything. Oh, hold Q to unequip. There we go. Okay. Lost in Space by Barry Bangs, Chief Record Critic, O. Courant Weekender. Call it the influence of chemicals, or the heady effects of fame, or just a simple lack of ideas. But Nick Lightbear's latest hi-fi cabinet-crushing octuple LP is a sprawling psychedelic mush. The eight records feature eight records feature an inordinate use of sitar in what appears to be a glockenspiel. This will prove daunting for even the most dedicated Nicky maniac. Many observers, uh, yeah, many observers, this correspondent included, have wondered if it's long past time that Mr. Lightbear put aside his guitar. One suspects that his manager, Virgil Dainty, Dainty, was the real brains behind Nick's early success. Since the two are reportedly at odds these days, one trembles at the future of our own hometown music industry. Oh, everyone 
becomes a critic. Especially the critics. <laughs> okay, so what exactly is going to happen if we take a joy pill? That's going to heal us, right? Oh shit, we're rich. We have 5,000 sovereigns. Damn. Your one true uh, joy pill, your one true muse, ups your pep level and increases the power of your face melts. Oh. It has a sanity rating. Uh, I mean, everything... All these seem to have the same sanity ratings. Um, this helps with stamina. Stiff upper lip. Reduces damage taken for a short period of time. So yeah, these effects are totally different. Heals you up nicely. I think Scotch might be the only one that actually heals me. I don't know. Let's just try taking this, though. Got a bunch of it. Oh, it did heal me. You fuck my Ooh. You ate my bloody lunch. Ooh. Ow. My sister says hello. Learn to... The, um, vibe. Successful blocks recharge your guitar and leave enemies vulnerable. It seems like if I just spam attack, it really does very little damage. So maybe I really am supposed to let them try to attack, block them, and then I assume by makes them vulnerable, that means they take more damage. Only three pills at a time. Ugh. That won't last me until breakfast. Do, do I eat breakfast? Oh, not the pick-me-up I'm looking for. Cheese and pickle, really. Oh, it's, uh... Or... Is it not even in my inventory? I guess it's just useless. Yeah, the drink was just called not alcohol, and the food is just not joy, I think. Too many people know me here. I mean, basically everyone. Upgrade serenade. I oh, that's for. I prefer to keep the ladies at bay with their serenade. <laughs> <laughs> the voice acting is really good. Uh, this is for their portable lamp, isn't it? Hold right click to serenade fans, stopping them in their tracks. Serenade them long enough, and they'll fall all over each other trying to defend you. Serenade will only affect one fan at a time. Okay, so serenade them for a little bit and it just stops them. Serenade them for a long time and they become your defender. Okay, I'm loving these guitar mechanics. Yeah, they're way more vulnerable when you've just blocked them. Headshots count for anything? Mind blown, mind blown, mind blown. Oh. Hey. Hmm. I guess Nick's music doesn't work on the older crowd, huh? Inspector Royston Luckenville reminds the public that the alleged murderer 
known as Foggy Jack. No, 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 he's just a very... You promised... Oh, 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 I want to die with you, Nicky. Oh, 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 kiss me, or I'll tear you down. There are definitely no victims found in the street. Give me your warning. With all the surgically removed. No. And even if there were, even if there were, what on earth were those people doing out after dark, eh? Everyone except the constables should be at home listening to Uncle Jack's bedtime stories. Oh, so it's the victim's fault for getting murdered by a serial killer. Okay. Let's have some of this. Is this also going to heal me? It did. Yeah, I guess everything heals me, really. Like the trash we are. Fortune favors the bold. If I could just find a quiet place to clean up and think. Home. I just need to go home. So is... Oh, wow, we are very high. All the plants are just like moving in waves. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the sky. Oh my god, we're just tripping. So do we not have to worry about bobbies or anything like that? Do we only have to worry about fans? Uh, do I have a... Mm, don't seem to have a map. Press M and nothing happens. Oh, the fun part of sound, yes. God, look at how colorful everything is. This game is so beautiful. Judy, you wouldn't. Foggy Jack is a murderer. Paparazzi's. but it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, it really doesn't seem to. That's Nick Lightbearer. That's Nick Lightbearer. That's... Down the road, you don't say. My house! My house is in the Nick Lightbear Museum. Hmm. Just a quick nip to quieten the old nerves. <laughs> oh. I have to find a, a way around these fans.
welcome to the Nick. Change it to non bloody clothing. Museum. Good idea. What? That voice. The museum is an exact replica of Nick's own house. This looks important. This is all about our ex agent, Virgil Dainty. Virgil Dainty, rock and roll agent extraordinaire, is the secret to Nick Lightbearer's success. When Virgil discovered him, Nick was writing Ponzi poetry, says Nick's ex wife, Petunia. Petunia Pickles? Virgil molded him into someone people liked, so long as they didn't actually get to know Nick. Virgil Dainty is also responsible for Nick's look and sound. Nick was happy to sell out and abandon his old friends, says former bandmate Maury Memento. He likes the attention and the birds. We can't all have artistic integrity. Mr. Dainty has become even more indispensable in recent months, making excuses for Nick's cancelled concerts and increasingly numerous absences due to exhaustion. We are sure that there's a story there, but Mr. Dainty loyally ensures that we will never find out. Okay, that's pretty great. Decree of Divorce. Mr. Norbert Pickles versus Mrs. Norbert Pickles. Uh, wait, Pickles was the ex-wife. Uh, is Nick's real name Norbert? Norbert Pickles? Mm -hmm. Dissolution of marriage. I don't think there's any reason to read this whole thing. Yeah, Mrs. Pickles is entitled to a fair share of Mr. Norbert Pickles' assets. Um, due to compounding factors not limited to emotional estrangement, verbal handpicking, and forced proximity to terrible substances, frequent state of disrobery, unseemly shenanigans, and continued exposure to the sounds of poorly received late career albums, we calculate her entitlement to be no less than 90% of his earnings, past, present, and future. Hmm. These would make good weapons. Might come in handy. Are they actually weapons? Don't tell me. <laughs> oh, it broke. I don't suppose these recharge. No, why would they? I think they always break. They just might bounce around a little bit and do extra damage as they bounce, I guess. Pickles, you bastard, you utter wanker. I knew it. I knew it. From the moment I walked into my very first audition, I could see it in your eyes. Envy. Oh, you'd had your little spot of success on your own with your little beat combo, but inhaled the unmistakable stench of my talent, my effortless confidence, and it terrified you. I knew at some point your inferiority complex would come squirming out into the light. And so I read today in the vulgar music broadsheets, no less, that you're giving me the sack. Didn't have the stones to tell me to my face, did you? Well, the laugh's on you, mate. Your worst fears are about to be realized. I'll outshine you as a solo act. Just you wait. Mori memento. Okay, that's a really cool detail. So we can play the piano just like we could when we played as Arthur, except we can actually play the piano musically, like with some talent, unlike Arthur. That's really cool. Goodbye, bloody suit. The 
museum is accurate down to the smallest detail, including Nick's stash of drugs. Mm -hmm. Oh, moustache! Wait, I thought they were pointing upstairs, but maybe they're not. What are you pointing to? I just want to check something, too. Oh, we can take that off, but... Yeah. Yeah, they've made a lot of really smart design decisions here. So, we're playing as a very different character, and the mechanics for how they do stuff is also really different. And they really smartly change the way you, like, access your inventory. They've pared it down and gotten rid of all the extra stuff that obviously isn't needed for the sort of character that we're playing. Like, if you notice, there's no item categories at all. Because I don't think it's going to be needed, because I don't think we're going to pick up that much stuff. They've really pared it down just to what's necessary for this character. It's really cool. It's very smart. Like, there's no map so far. There probably won't ever be, because I don't think this... I don't think we're going to need a map, I, f I feel like. Could be wrong. Yes, our stash. And also, I can't jump over stuff either. Yeah, Nick isn't like a parkour master. Like Arthur is. Pointing downstairs. What am I missing? It really looks like it's pointing up the wall or the... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't think, you know, I'd throw records. That's a record player. I don't know, it was worth trying. Oh, wait, I might not be missing anything. This door down here is just open now. Yeah, this one shrugged before, but now it's pointing over here. Okay. I wonder what these are. Won't know until I take them. After all these years... Petunia? You haven't found a new hobby. Why are you in my house? We didn't get married again, did we? Do you try to keep up with the class, love? Oh, right, yes! It's a museum! <laughs> to me! <laughs> Why are you here? I'm in charge. Might as well get something out of the marriage. Besides, who knows more about you? Didn't you always say you wanted your fans to know the real Nick? You always knew how to make me feel small. Oh, whoa, whoa! What's happening? Oh, those pills made me small! Whoa! How did I end up here? Uh, I get it. I'm high! I did not expect this either. I love how much they're experimenting with this. Be on the lookout for bright yellow bouncing things. Well, I think I spotted one. The radiator looks lethally hot today. Oh, can I? Oh, I still got all my stuff. How do I turn it off? I think they're suggesting I hit this. Yeah. Oof. That is disgusting. What's my end goal here? Just to get to the door? Oh, to get up there. Um. Okay, so now we kind of do have, like, parkour mechanics. <gasps> oh! <laughs> right. Different pill. Oh, no! Dying theatrically. <laughs> Um, no, I think I'm still supposed to go up here. Mm. 
Nick's real name is Norbert Pickles. <laughs> his agent Virgil writes most of his songs nowadays, as Nick has trouble being any fun at all, unless it's with someone's younger sister. Lord Kitchener, London Dry Gin. Oh, this is shining. Is there pills? No, we're talking. <laughs> Come to Nikki, my little reds and yellows. <laughs> oh, I just pissed myself. You're a cheater. You're only like birds who don't know the real you. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. At least I don't have a stupid name like Pickles anymore. <laughs> It's not that I wanted to shag all those birds. Fans expect it. You mustn't disappoint the fans. Nick is such a piece of shit. Of course, no one can know the true Nick Lightbearer. Not even Nick himself. Whee! He tried so hard to forget. Fun fact. <laughs> Are they gonna? I feel like if they notice me, they're gonna kill me. I think I'm maybe supposed to jump off of their head from the exit sign. <laughs> I can't see any other way to do this. So mod. Everybody wants to be Nick. Light us up. Nick tells what makes him happy. The golden god of rock and roll. Quiz, could you be Nick's biggest fan? Mystery girl, who's Nick's new song about? Oh no, I, I do wonder if I could jump on their head, but I think I'm supposed to go that way. They're definitely going to grab me before I can get to the pills though, right? I mean, they're right there. Not so easy to run around on me now, is it? Some birds just won't give a man a second chance. Oh, Fred. Oh, this is a boss fight. Maybe I am supposed to just throw records. I think I am. Yep. Yeah, you just you do have unlimited records. You just have to reload. We hope okay. you've enjoyed your visit. Did you look? Souvenirs are available on the way. Oh, if that had been the real Petunia. No. No, I I'd never. Those must have been bad drugs. Yes, bad drugs. Nick, love. Heck of a show you put on last night. Really felt like the old days. You screamed, you strutted, you tore off your trousers. You most certainly left an impression on the crowd. There were tears. Problem is, Nicky, you weren't on stage at the Orpheum. You were in the ladies' loo of the tea room down Oxford Street. Took myself and a handful of nonplussed bobbies all night to pry you out of there. And those tears, they were yours, love. You bawled for six hours straight in the station house. First time I'd ever seen an actually embarrassed constable. Next time, leave the stagecraft for the actual stage, would you? Virgil. 
P.S. I know you need your yellows and reds, but for fuck's sake, try and not take any blues while they're running through your system. Or better yet, stick to the joy, Nikki. Makes you a hell of a lot more pleasant. I feel suddenly very, very tall. Alright. You went home, you're refreshed. Remember last night now? Last night? How hard can this be, Nikki? You actually wrote it down. But... My lyrics don't make any sense. I mean, maybe if I played them, but it's an electric guitar, you know? You can barely hear it. Yes, if only you could. If only you owned an amplifier, for example. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't use this one. It, it's... <laughs> it's all soggy. It won't sound right, will it? Oh, for fuck's sake. I want to remember Virgil. I mean, mostly... Oh, this amp just isn't good enough. Virgil? Oh, you're going to haunt me till I do this, aren't you? <laughs> Suppose I could buy a new amp from Bates. We certainly have the money. 5,000. I think the most money I ever had in my playthrough as Arthur was about 500. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Yeah, so far, I'm really impressed with this DLC. I had no idea what to expect, but I didn't expect it to be this experimental with uh, game mechanics. It's really cool. It's really impressive. Really, the only thing I don't like about it is uh, there's a lot of, I mean, like pretty much the entire DLC so far is, haha, look at this rock star who takes lots and lots of drugs and has no idea what reality is. And, I mean, Nick's a piece of shit, obviously, but... Also, we're talking about drug addiction and dependence on drugs because of mental illness. And, you know, Nick is not doing well. They're doing terribly. And if someone has to take so many drugs that it just ruins their life just to try to keep going, that's a serious problem and that's not funny. But aside from that, I'm really liking it. I know... It is... Like, this whole DLC is all that, so... On one hand, it's obviously a really major problem that I have with this DLC, because that's everything. I mean, everything is, ooh, psychedelic, look well, you know, weird and drug-trippy everything is. A lot of it, though, doesn't offend me for some reason. I mean, the visuals are just really neat looking, to be honest. And I don't really know how to explain it, but I just feel like I can look past it most of the time and just appreciate the absurdity of everything that's going on. So it doesn't it doesn't ruin the experience too much for me. I'm still really enjoying it. So I hope you've been enjoying it as well, and when I return, we're going to try to buy a new guitar amp. <laughs>